Today, I'm going to be explaining to you how in financial settlements, lawyers may fleece you of thousands of pounds twice. This topic makes my blood boil because I get calls about it daily, where vulnerable people are, in my opinion, being misled and totally ripped off. I'm Phil Kedge, a retired police chief inspector and director of the Mackenzie Friends UK network. In all my opinions and views are my own, and I invite you to please subscribe to my channel and join the campaign of hashtag like not to hate. That's like not hate .co .uk. In a recent chat with a lovely lady, she explained that she had already spent £10,000 on a solicitor in relation to finances after separation. And it was clear that mediation was not going to work and she made the classic mistake of then contacting a family solicitor. What that solicitor did was this. They started to litigate her case outside of any structure of mediation or a court process. They got her to send all her information about her assets. They then wrote countless letters to, to the other side. He also had a lawyer threatening and making demands. His lawyer did the same back, with weeks of litigation by letters and phone calls costing thousands of pounds. The lawyers played their clients together. They got both parties to complete and exchange their formees informally so that they can now continue the arguments, the disputes and exchanges between them. Think about that for a moment. £10,000 for a lawyer to operate outside of any court system to just argue, complete forms, make endless phone calls and sending pointless correspondence with no likelihood of resolving anything. Does that sound familiar to you? Now, if that isn't bad enough, this is where you get fleeced twice. The lawyer has already taken £10,000. And when they have milked you at this point for as much as they can get, they will then tell you to apply to court. And guess what? The court requires you to do all the forms and exchanges again. This time under court directions. So your solicitor repeats the work and bills you twice. There are two critical things here to understand. I asked this lovely lady if there was anything that the solicitor had done or achieved that she could not have done herself particularly with the support of a Mackenzie friend. And her, her answer was no. I got sucked into something that I did not understand and was manipulated to hand over thousands of pounds. I could have done everything myself. I asked her why she contacted the solicitor and she replied, I just thought you had to. You see, nowhere in any guidance by the judiciary or the government does it tell you that you need a solicitor or to go and get a solicitor. The guidance is crystal clear. Go to a mediator who can help you and your ex-partner ex agree on how to split money and property without taking sides. Now, if mediation is not appropriate or successful, you can apply to court. There are also other methods of resolution to consider, such as arbitration or collaborative law. But nowhere does it tell you to go to a high street, find a solicitor to slug it out, costing you thousands of pounds. Even if you end up with a court application, there is still absolutely no need for a solicitor. 
everything that a solicitor can do, you can do yourself with the guidance and support of an experienced McKinsey friend. I broke news to this lady on the phone that for what had cost her £10,000, I would have easily have supported her for around £400. She's now ditched her solicitor and I have offered her the support of a Mackenzie friend through the Mackenzie Friend UK network. It is time for these insidious family sisters to be banned from engaging in such underhanded and exploitative practices, preying on the vulnerable, taking tens of thousands of pounds off people, whilst engaging in totally unnecessary work. I would like to invite you to join me and visit likenothate.co.uk where you can join my Facebook group of hashtag likenothate and please subscribe to my channel to access all my videos. I'm looking forward to meeting you.